Hey, buddy. Did you bring your bananas? <laughs> I did not bring my bananas, but Brian... So was, was he right outside the blind? Yeah, literally like five yards away. It was, uh, did so, you see it? Where did it, where did it come from? Out of the wormhole. Just typical El okay, Prieto. So. Um, I turned around and I'm watching the heart jump. <laughs> You don't usually see it that close, you know? Yeah. And then, uh, yeah, and the, the does jumped in beside the box here. And then the, I got the video of the buck actually scrubbing one of the trees we planted. Oh, it's and then, done. And then, yeah, uh, so then he, they stayed around for about 10 minutes. Then they eventually meandered off to the west. And then they went over the hill, and I haven't seen them since then. But cool sighting nonetheless. I thought that was kind of cool. Cool. Just, yeah. Just a young eight point. I'm gonna get the spotting still set up while I'm talking to you guys. You're gonna check out. One at a distance, see if I'm seeing it right. Yeah. So Matt. Would would you have shot that deer or are you holding out? That well, that one that was up close? Yeah. No. Brian was saying I'm lucky Brian wasn't here. Here, we'll be unlucky, but <laughs> any deer come by this bush, I'm shooting them. Here, just because we kept saying it, and lo, lo and behold, the morning he doesn't show up, it happens, you know, kind of thing. <laughs> lucky deer, lucky deer. Very lucky deer, I'm not even kidding, I think. Like, the one day Brian's not sitting on Gate Hill, or the one morning no that way. Brian's not sitting on Gate Hill. The one morning and literally the next two weeks that he won't be out here in the morning, that's when <laughs> I'm really think Do you really think he would have shot that one? I do. <laughs> And the fact that we kept saying it, he might have passed it up, but I don't know. He would have passed it up. He would have wised up real quick, I think, but... I, the fact that he's got another 10 days out here doesn't hurt either. You know, it was a rub in that tree, and I'm like, well, he's going to do you a favor, Brian. He's trying to get rid of it before it grows up. <laughs> yeah, that's <laughs> positive. Matt and I thought we were going to have to whip out our red Toro cape. This ball, he would not appreciate us walking through on that first day. No. Was he grunting at you? He was grunting and pawing and... Dude, I was ready to... I was ready to... We were, I was going over the fence. That was gonna happen. Yeah, that's... Uh... It was gonna be like adrenaline of a whole different sort. I know, one of those big white charlets. Yeah, they're mean, man. He was... He, yeah, he didn't appreciate us at all. You said you got close to him? <laughs> That's close enough, closer than I wanted to be when <laughs> they're looking at me like that. You remember that time that, man, I, I, I don't know what happened, but you were chasing me in the, in the cattle yard and then I tried to jump the fence and I just belly flopped against it and fell backwards into the snow. <laughs> <laughs> just something you would do. <laughs> would have maybe been you this time with that bull chasing you. <laughs> I guarantee it. So did you tear into any of those Mr. Goodyear bars yet? I haven't. Not yet. <laughs> Not yet. I'm kind of holding out. I always try to hold out until noon and eat my first sandwich. <laughs> That's kind of like a turtle mind game. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Don't eat your sandwich before noon. Don't eat your sandwich before <laughs> noon. What do you guys have? You guys pack some lunch or? Just some snack bars. Yeah. Some jerky. Just kind of that jerky and energy bar type stuff. Like I just, I just have the great value jerky. So Matt, Matt doesn't like mine. So. <laughs> you gotta feel your jerky. <laughs> I don't buy a lot of store bought jerky anymore. I guess. Yeah. But if you um, had to. When I do, I usually get the uh, what is it? The one in the red bag. I can't even think of the name right now. The Jack's Wings. That one, yeah. That's that's top. That's top shelf stuff. <laughs> what? I would say so. <laughs> I never like, I never eat Jack's Lick's jerky. And think like, this is terrible jerky, you know? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Jerky's usually pretty good. I don't know if they can really go wrong. But yeah, I've never had the old Trapper stuff. Is that pretty good? Yeah, it's it excellent. It's pretty tender. Is well, it might have to track it. Now, if Jack's Lick's is top shelf, is old Trapper like on the roof or what? I think, I think like, Old Trapper is probably the Cadillac of uh, beef jerky. So Jack you know, thinks is that I'm sitting down here driving a Honda. Matt's got <laughs> maybe not even my great value jerky with a huge dent. <laughs> this is an 05 Hyundai. How dare you? 
<laughs> this is this is beneath me. <laughs> <laughs> oh yes. I think I'm losing weight out here though. I'm not eating as much as I usually do. Kinda of empty almost. Yeah. Been doing a ton of walking around. Yeah, you guys are definitely probably melting pounds away. Basically put yourself in a sweatsuit and go for a walk, you know? Sort of yeah, that's what, pretty much what it is. Yeah. yeah. I couldn't even speak by the time I got back to the road. I was trying it is, to... It snow. <laughs> deep. 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 <laughs> Happy. You have to will yourself to keep going. Fence. Actually, that's the other side. <laughs> it's kind of what Eric and I did too. It's just once you get about halfway, then you're just trying to go 30 yards at a time and pull, just push through, man. Just push through it. Yeah, short goals. <laughs> rock, get to the rock. Yeah. All right, man. All right. Sweet. All right. Good talk. Good luck, boys. Right. We'll talk to you soon. All right, man. Sounds good. See ya. See ya.